right, welcome back. It is no secret the last three years have been extra difficult for students throughout this country. They have been expected to keep up with their schoolwork amidst a global pandemic uh, that took a major toll on the education system. Uh, but new data reveals some troubling signs of where things stand for American students. Test scores from eighth graders showing record low performances on history courses, as well as the first ever decline in civics classes. Reading and math scores also falling by the largest amount ever recorded. Uh, joining us now is Carrie Sautner, who works as the chief learning officer at the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia. Uh, Carrie, thanks for joining us on this. Um, so you're looking at the numbers here, right? And it's not just what you would logically think be the effects of the pandemic um, because of these scores and how these students are performing. You look at since 2014, right? Th this percentage has been dropping pretty steadily where students are performing below quote unquote basic on history um, exams. What do you make of some of the reasons why this is happening? And I'm really glad to be here. And I'm glad you pointed that out too, because so often we think, oh, it's because of the last three years. And that has a significant impact on it. But when we look at the four years before that, we see that steady decline in history. And when we talk about our nation and all the news that you're sharing today, we need to prepare our students to be well-rounded students, to be able to know their history, their civics, and be able to read and interpret sources. So unbelievably powerful. So what is happening in these areas and where are we not moving the needle forward? There's so many factors that fall into this. You know, if it was one and we could solve it, that would be fantastic, but that's not how education works. One of the key things though, what we know we need as a solution is to give more time to history and civics in classrooms across mm -hmm. this country more high quality curriculum and more teacher support. We need to really embed that into every single grade and not just one grade in high school and maybe if you're lucky, one grade in middle school. If we also kind of look at the politicization of education in this country as well, right? You're looking at um, book bans, you're looking at entire parts of our history not being, not wanting to be taught um, in certain schools uh, in this country. Um, a politicization, as I mentioned, of, of public school curriculum in general. Um, how is that really contributing to what we're seeing? It, massively. So when we think about it, we, our kids aren't in a bubble. They're not unaware of what's happening in our country. They're not unaware of how family members or community members are talking about history and civics. They're watching the news. They're involved in all of this. And our republic, our constitutional republic, is based off of coming together with different viewpoints and listening to each other. It's unbelievably important for this to work. Mm. Compromise, unbelievably important for this to work. Our students are seeing it across the country. And we just looked at new data coming out this year that was so powerful, but it also looked at classrooms that aren't working. Our kids are not listening to each other. They're, mm. they're having more heated debates and that's not a healthy debate. When you wanna to talk to each other and you wanna look at different sources, you wanna share different viewpoints, a big part of that is hearing and asking questions yes. and understanding different yeah. perspectives. That's not what they're doing. It's getting heated and it's shutting down. Yeah, active listening. That is certainly um, something that we talk about a lot in our own profession as journalists as well and interviewing um, people um, like you, but also something that we want our children uh, to do as well in, in their education. Carrie Sautner, um, we thank you for this really important topic.